I don't know what to do, and there's nothing to do. Those are the two things that I hear about Orlando. And from Orlando residents themselves, the misconception is, is that other than Disney, Universal, and any other tourist attraction alongside International Drive, there's nothing. That's it. But there's so much more. So whether you're visiting here from out of town or you live here locally in the Orlando metropolitan area, there's so much that Central Florida and Orlando itself has to offer. I'm Melissa, I'm an Orlando local, and I've been discovering and exploring things to do in Orlando and its neighboring cities. I want you all to come along with me so that you're able to see what our city has to offer. For example, just yesterday, I got an email of a new restaurant opening. And yes, it is on the tourist corridor, I drive itself, um, International Drive for our non-locals. Um, and so we have booked a reservation for their grand opening today. Their name is The Hampton Social. And if I'm not mistaken, they hail all the way from Illinois. It's things like this that I want you to come along with me so that you're able to see for yourself and see if it's something that you want to partake in and you can enjoy on your own. So continue watching the video to get a sneak peek on the Hampton Social. The Hampton Social is located in Port Orlando off of International Drive. It is taking the space over for Tommy Bahama, but you can tell that the restaurant has resurfaced the front of the restaurant, giving it a complete facelift. Now, the Hampton Social will definitely be able to take advantage of that Orlando weather with their expansive patio that wraps around the whole front of the restaurant. As for indoors, the interior gives off that East Coast Hampton vibes, as you could tell by the name, with the whitewashed walls and light and airy decor that has been elevated throughout the restaurant. Some cool features that they had were a DJ by the bar, as well as a lounge area, TVs around the bar, and Instagrammable walls throughout the restaurant. But if you're looking for something a little bit more low key, there are two other separate dining areas and that's not including the patio. This is the I literally can't in the large giant seashell. It's a shareable drink, which we all found refreshing, but it definitely snuck up on me. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the restaurant at the end of the video, but shouldn't they have a clam drinking challenge? Or is that just me? Talk about being the complete opposite. This is the Failing Naughty. It is a bourbon Fruit Loop infused drink. So the Fruit Loops are not just there for show. This was a strong drink. I didn't particularly like it, but my cousin Elizabeth and my brother Anthony both enjoyed it. Now, I will say that for vegetarians and vegans, they're not a lot of option. As far as this pizza, the avocado corn pizza, you can do it without the garlic butter to make it vegetarian, but it does take away from the flavor. And we didn't forget about you carnivores since I'm the only vegetarian. Um, so the rest of my party uh, spoke highly about the lobster mac and cheese and the calamari. And for my entree, I got the market kale salad, which was sweet and savory because it had nectarines and a lemon maple vinaigrette. But of course, for balance, we had to get the donut drops, which were similar to a beignet. Here are a couple photo ops around the restaurant you guys can take advantage of. But go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys can find out about the next videos coming out on what there is to do around Orlando. And like this video to let me know you guys are liking this type of content.